Hi everyone, and welcome to our staff activity on screencasting. Now you guys have been learning a little bit about flipped learning and screencasting at today's staff meeting. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually show you what a screencasted lesson would look like from a student's perspective. Um, and this will obviously give you, will hopefully give you some ideas as to how you can implement this into your teaching or why it might be beneficial for some of your students. Now, we rather than teach something bland like maths or, or another KLA, we decided to make it a little bit interesting, a little bit fun, which is what we're going to do uh, within this lesson. And we're going to do, as you can see, some tea towel origami. Now you've all been to the front and you've collected your tea towels, I'm hoping. Um, and we're going to create a couple of little animals, okay? But just quickly, our Walt for this is we're going to be using a screencast to create a flipped learning opportunity. And within this lesson, we're going to be creating animals with tea towels. And our Wilf is I want you to understand or gain an understanding of how to screencast on a PC or Mac, whichever one you prefer or use and gain an understanding of flipped learning. Okay, so the first animal you're going to make is a swan. And I at first just want to quickly apologize for Pete Hargett uh, and his movie reference here. I actually haven't seen this movie, but that's, uh, that's from Pete right there. Um, but this is our end result, which is what um, I think a lot of you will struggle to, to get this, because um, I actually tried this, this the other day and it was extremely difficult. Um, so I'm setting the challenge right now. We do have some prizes for, for those who do um, make a, a decent swan or the decent elephant, which is the next animal. So once you've finished making each task, just let us know and we'll come and check your animal um, and see whether it's worthy of a prize of some sort. Now, just quickly, you'll have to pause the video at each step perhaps unless you're working relatively quick. Um, and then you can obviously unpause the video and continue to the next step, but I'll just fizz through this relatively quick. Okay, so to make a swan, you're going to lay a bath towel or a tea towel flat on the table or ground. Make sure, make sure it is in the landscape position. Once you've done that, you're gonna fold the top two corners downwards and inwards so they meet at the center, just here. And your next step is you are going to roll the edges inward. Okay, so roll them edges inward towards the center. And it should look a little bit like an arrow, okay? Once you've done that, this is the easy bit, you're just going to fold the tea towel up into like a Z shape. So if you imagine this is like the Z right here, um, and you should start to look a little bit like a swan. And the final step for this one is you're going to set the Z down and squeeze the corners to set the curves. The Z should now look like a swan, okay? Um, <laughs> hopefully. So once you've finished once you've finished that one, please let us know and we'll, uh, we'll come and check to see whether it's worthy of a prize. Okay, our next task. And again, I apologize for this, uh, this Pete Hargett joke up here. Um, but as you can see, we're obviously going to be making an elephant. Our first step is to lay and oh, sorry, just quickly, you need to actually do this on the ground, okay? This one we need to do on a ground near a stool, preferably, because you will need to use a stool of some sort. So lay the hand tail flat near a stool, and then you're going to pin or clip the center of the long side or of a long side to something such as a leg of a chair, okay? So that's why you need to use the stool, or you can get your partner, if you're working in pairs, to just hold this bit. It's probably the easiest thing to do, to be honest with you. Once you've done that, you're gonna place your hands on the towel edge 
near the fastened point and begin to roll the edge away from that point, sliding your hands away from the point as you roll, forming a long pointed double roll. The trick is to pull the towel tight, that should say, I believe, as you roll it in, okay? So you're rolling it in this way, both, both sides. Try and keep it nice and tight. You're gonna to continue to the center until you cannot roll it anymore. Once you've done that, you can turn the roll over so that the flat, non-rolled side faces up towards you. And then you're going to roll the narrow pointed end, the narrow pointed end where you fasten the middle, so where the, the staff or the stool was holding the towel, up in a tight roll to form the trunk. Make sure that you squeeze it tightly so then it keeps its curl, um, so once it keeps it, it, it'll keep its curl once you uh, release the roll. Once you've done that, you're going to grasp the flat area of the towel between your two towel points at the side that's facing down and unroll it away from the center. This will spread the wide end points out into ears and the forehead of the elephant. Very difficult this. If someone does this, I'll be very impressed. And that's what it should look like once you're finished, I'm, I'm hoping. Um, so there are our tasks. Um, again, once you've finished this one, let us know. We'll come around and check and see whether you're worthy of a, uh, of a chocolate of some sort. Okay. Uh, thank you. And uh, we shall talk soon. <laughs>